Hey guys, this is me, Renee One, and I'm talking about what Phil Spencer said. In an appearance on Twitch's GlitchCon opening address, Phil Spencer said some stuff about the Bethesda acquisition, right? And I'm not going to read all of it, but he was basically like, the great thing is those games will become part of Game Pass on the day that they launch, which I think creates more opportunity for people to go play. Remember how I was talking about like those games that they're, that, that they're getting from Bethesda are probably going to be on Game Pass day one. Well, it seems like Phil Spencer is thinking the same way, way that he wants these games on Game Pass day one, right? But the fact that he mentioned Game Pass, rather than mentioning that, hey, these are going to be exclusive to the Xbox, it just goes to show, even in the article, they're talking about how it seemed like Xbox Game Pass as its backbone. Like, and that's true. Game Pass may be the thing that they focus on more than the actual consoles themselves. Game Pass, I'm not saying that they don't want people to buy the Xbox Series consoles or stuff like that, because they, they probably do. But I'm, what I'm saying is that what they're doing with Game Pass, I think they're really going to start to focus more on that than anything else, than actually getting exclusive to the consoles. Because imagine this. Let's just say in the future, let's just say like three, five years from now, Microsoft acquires like a certain amount of studios, but makes none of their games first party, right? But all their games are first day on G Game Pass. Do you think it really matters whether they're first party or not? Slightly it does, but the thing is that if you're able to get a bunch of AAA games day one on Game Pass, aren't you more likely to either like buy the Xbox Series X or get like Xbox Game Pass on PC? Either way, Microsoft wins. That's the thing. I think Microsoft really hit the nail on the head when it came to Game Pass. And it does seem like they're focusing more on Game Pass than a lot of things right now. Like exclusives don't seem as important to Xbox as Game Pass does. And it makes sense. If they can focus more on Game Pass, which is basically, let's face it, it's basically Netflix for games. They really got something here because a lot more people, even people who don't buy the Xbox Series X or don't buy any console. What I mean is that, you know, what they call PC gaming elitists, you know, people who never buy any consoles basically you may get xbox game pass because they're like hey i don't mind paying whatever they want to pay for to be a member and get all these games with it so i think it's good to see that they seem to be focusing more on game pass but what do you guys think about this do you guys really think that microsoft should focus more on game pass than like exclusives i'm not saying they are but if you were working at microsoft would you be more focused on making game pass much better or would you be more focused on getting exclusives for the console? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.